Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. It'll be a short and sweet love reading as always. It cannot resonate with every Aries watching, so just keep that in mind. If this does not resonate for you at all, then check out my playlist for Aries. Um, you'll see a bunch of other videos there, and all of my playlists are in my main channel, so the homepage of my channel. All right, let's see. What messages do we have for Aries, spirits, angels, guides? <clears throat> What is coming their way in love for the sign of Aries? What messages do you have for Aries when it comes to love? If you hear any noise in the background, my neighbor, I believe, is putting a new roof. So that's what the bangs are. Um, hopefully it doesn't, the mic isn't picking it up, but just in case. All right, let's see. For Aries, for Aries, please, spirit. What is going on for Aries? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek, and you deserve love. You are lovable. Very interesting. New love, and this could be the one you've already met. So I'm picking up that some of you have met someone recently, or perhaps someone that you've known for a long time, you're seeing them in a romantic way. Let's see, what does the tarot say for Aries? Let's see. Come on for Aries in love. Four of coin. Nine of Wands. Okay, so I'm picking up that you are very guarded. Maybe you've been guarding yourself, holding back from love, or maybe you have trust issues because you've been through a lot in love. I don't feel like you are giving up on love. I just feel like maybe some of you are taking a step back or just in protection mode, or you got some barriers up here. Let's see. Ace of Cups reverse, exactly, yeah. You've been experiencing some sort of heartbreak. This could be um, related to the past. Um, something was disappointing or just didn't work out the way you hoped. So let's see, why is this Four of Coin reverse? Not reverse, why am I saying? Why is this Four of Coin doing here? I don't know what's going on with me right now. There you are, Aries, Emperor reversed. <clears throat> Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, this was um not good here. King of Wands reverse. Someone could have um been unfaithful here or just made a huge mistake. There could be family drama for some of you. Could be dealing with a fire sign, or you are the one that possibly jumped into something and it was the wrong thing. Like it was the wrong person, the wrong situation. There was something off about this. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. This was a wrong choice. Why is the Emperor reverse? Okay, so some of you are either, hmm, we got the Hangman and then we have the Five of Swords at the bottom. So Five of Swords is conflict, deception, a fight, sometimes a breakup. Uh, with Emperor Reverse, that's feeling like something's out of your control, out of your power. Uh, you're not feeling like you're, um, you have the resources or the courage to deal with something. This could also symbolize someone that's very angry, um, authoritarian, controlling. Um, I feel like some of you are seeing this situation in, from a new perspective with the hangman, or perhaps you haven't been able to take action on fixing a situation here or bringing something back into control. Um, yeah, Five of Swords came out again, so that is the message. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, so some sort of change is propelling you forward here, something that uh, maybe an opportunity. Why is the Nine of Wands here? 
I feel like this is the person that it just didn't work out for, with them here. Ten of coin. So what I'm picking up here, page of wands, yeah, this is something new coming in with the page of wands. While you're sitting there, like not trusting a lot of people, doing you, focusing on your money, your finances, your career, there's a message that comes in with the page of wands. Ooh, three of cups reverse, ace of swords reverse, eight of swords reverse. What's back here, justice reverse. Yikes, someone is in the way. Someone or something is in the way here. It could be deception in the way here. Someone's not being honest or truthful. Um, maybe you're not telling someone how you feel or, or vice versa. There could be a situation with um, someone needing to get a divorce here because I have justice reverse and eight of swords reverse with the three of cups reverse. And then the 10 of coins can be a family card. So the plot thickens here. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is coming to to bring a change in your love life. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? Yeah, you felt abandoned. Um, this was um, a loss for you. Um, some of you could even be dealing with financial difficulties. Yeah, this is someone from your past. Or you could be meeting someone new. High Priestess reverse. Could be a secret admirer. Hmm. You could have a choice between two. Two people, two very different situations. You're scared of making the, mis the same mistake again because um, so much of your life... You know what I'm getting? Some of you really need to have a change in your life. You deserve love. You deserve better than what you've had. I think a lot of you know this. It's just the change hasn't happened, but this is there's a change coming soon here when it comes to love. I feel like if you're in a third party situation, I don't see that um, you need to get involved with that. That's out of your control, out of your hands. Um, this is something that someone else needs to take care of. And I feel like you shouldn't be waiting around for this person, whoever they are. Because I have a feeling that there's something new here that could take place. I feel like someone around you, maybe someone from the past has had a change of heart. Maybe they didn't commit to you in the past and they want to come in now because they were out in the cold. I don't feel like they're going to tell you everything with the Ace of Swords reverse. Don't make the same mistake again is what I'm getting here. Yeah, this is someone that cannot offer you commitment. Whoever this is. Um, it could be someone new you're meeting or it could be someone you already know in a third party. They're, they cannot offer you commitment. And I know this has been devast well, devastating for some, very disappointing for others. Because I feel like in your mind, this is probably the one for you. But I think new love is also a possibility. You're just not open to it. Or perhaps you can't see it. Yeah, this needs to be, this needs to, this is a burden that needs to be dropped. Six of coin reverse, ten of wands reverse, because it's not fair to you. Something is imbalanced here. Someone is being breadcrumbed or you're giving way too much, more than someone else. And I feel like, I don't know, it's almost like spirit is saying there's a new path that needs to be chosen here. Knight of Coin. Interesting. There could be something coming your way that's taking a long time. Tell me more about this Knight of Coin. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for this too long. Got the tower here with Eight of Coin reverse. There's something big that's changing here for you. Tell me more for Aries. Making a choice. Solitude. 
Mm. Compass, yes. This is a choice that you have to make to go in a new direction, bottom of the deck, coming apart. So I feel like this is a choice that's related to a past love or a, a separation. I feel like that needs to be let go, left in the past. These are two very different choices. And I'm getting with solitude, like you have to really be on your own or think about it on your own. Um, compass, I'm thinking of the Wheel of Fortune here. There has to be a change peaks of joy right after coming apart so there's something else that's meant for you I just don't think that you are getting it in your if you're in a connection right now or you are specifically like thinking of a specific person right now for some reason I feel like that needs to change something in that connection needs to change drastically um, and I feel like it cannot be something that takes a lot of time. Like this decision, you shouldn't be making it. I feel like you've already waited enough time. I don't think you should be waiting any longer. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but that's the message that I'm getting here. It's like, it's already been disappointing. There's already like a lack of commitment. There's probably a lot, you know, communication that has been deceptive or a fight or conflict that you've dealt with. Um, and so I don't think this is something you need to hold on to. I feel like there's something else that needs to be, like you need to make room for something else. Aries, if this is resonating for you, please let me know down in the comments um, how it's resonating for you. If it's resonating for you, I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these types of readings. Um, hopefully this resonated for you, but if it didn't, check out my playlist for Aries. If you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love, I go into all 70 cards upright and reversed in my ebook, Love Tarot Made Easy. That's linked down below. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.